Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth and we are here with the new Solar Paste. Six beautiful colors, Cross My Heart, Overheated, Golden Hour, Crocodile Tears, Beluga, and Royal Flush. And we have, uh, right here, Cross My Heart, mm, mm -mm. Overheated, let me tell you you guys, Oh dear, this golden hour, mm, I would recommend that for this Christmas. You guys get that golden hour. Crocodile tears, yeah. Beluga, mm -mm -mm. and royal flush right here. They're amazing on white paper. It's so subtle, so beautiful, so shiny. Uh, and then right here, stencils, tiny hearts. We're using... All Simon Hurley stencils today. We're doing a full rainbow of colors on this generic black paper. Okay, we're also going to do it again on the Ranger black paper. Which seems to have sped right through that. <laughs> but let me, oh, here it is, here it is. Uh, that orange piece was a cleanup. This right here is the Ranger black. Please get the Ranger black paper. You will be so amazed how it handles all the texture paste, um, heat embossing, all of that stuff. <clears throat> so that's clean up on white paper. Very unique in itself. Clean up is a little bit different. You guys do not use too much water. It does weird stuff. This one here is um, diamonds. <laughs> ah, dazzling diamonds. And that was layer, like, two or three from the Dazzling Diamond set, okay? And the black pieces of paper I'm using in between for cleanup are just some stuff that I had in my stash. Sweater weather, uh, that royal flush on gray paper, yes please, every day, all day. This right here, Crocodile Tears on green, wait till that dries, it's amazing. It's amazing and just scooping it on to the cleanups we have warped circles here and I purposely scraped really hard so the centers would uh, come up differently very unique very unique more cleanup ah uh, it's so amazing I'm gonna slow it down when we're all done this is deco diamonds yeah this one mm deco diamonds with the uh overheated whoo wee and then this last one here is um backsplash uh with the cross my heart and then the last bit of cleanup oh man it was fabulous okay we're slow down a little bit these uh even putting on a thick just like lunar paste the thinner it is the quicker it dries. So some of the stuff that I did, it took me about an hour to do all of these stencil stuff. And some of the first ones are dry. The last two were not. But here's a cleanup. It's beautiful as cleanup. It's beautiful on that, um, that ranger. That ranger paper really makes it pop. That distressed heavy stock black. I <laughs> I had to shorten this video. You guys, my chatting with you guys was almost a two hour video. So I chopped it all down, sped it up. And we're just looking at these colors. They're just... Uh, you guys, this one dried. If you rewind to the beginning, it almost looked like a creamy white. And it dyed that white back into the green. And I'm just showing how the cleanup over the entire paper. Because cleanup is different. You're going to be better off just coating the entire paper. Instead of trying to pick it up in batches like with the lunar paste. So solar paste. Even lunar paste. This technique here. You're creating a resist. So you can clean up with a white sheet of paper. And then ink over it for the grungiest, coolest effects. So, yeah. And I grabbed some black and white papers and did all my cleanups. 
So you can see, it's like, it's a piece of glass reflecting light, all like off of a TV or something. All these sheets just turned out so beautiful. And if you come on my channel today at 3 p.m. Eastern, I'll go through these again and we can chat about it. We're going to make some stuff with the stuff I've made here, some actual cards. And then, yeah, we're just, we're going to have fun. And here I'm showing that you can color this stuff which we'll talk more about if you haven't already seen Mr. Simon Hurley do it. So right now we're, we're onto our canvas. Wait till you guys see. Oh my goodness. I had a lot of fun with this and I can't wait to show you the dried canvas. It's stunning. I wrote a word across the top and, um, doodled some flowers and some leaves where I thought that might work and then I'm gonna scoop out the lunar paste or sorry the solar solar paste solar solar paste is very different from lunar paste um, I'm gonna scoop it out put it on my glass mat and I do use a water brush but I do not add very much water you do not need a lot of water the water breaks it down really differently than with lunar paste. So you're going to, it's weird. You're just going to paste it all on there. And I did these on purpose, crazy little brush strokes. <laughs> Wait till you guys see. The thinner the solar paste is, right? If you dry the layers in between, you can layer the colors. And so you'll see the blue, then you'll see the purple on the blue. And then towards the end, I add the um, golden hour on top of the purple and blue background. And you can see all three colors sitting on top of each other. It's very interesting. And it's always easier to add more to your t um, work surface than it is to... Uh, Scoop it up and put it back, considering if you contaminate it and stuff, you're not going to want to put the solar paste back. But uh, it goes on really smooth, really fun. I do hit it with a heat gun here in a moment. And just keep your heat gun moving. You don't want to burn anything. Um, it didn't create any weird smells or anything, but you know, you, you just don't know about chemically things. So just keep your heat tool moving. <coughs> uh, sorry about the coughs. I'm almost done with the coughs, I feel. <laughs> Tired of being sick, you guys. Uh, but here, here we go. So we just, we used the paintbrush, right? Now we're going to go in with our blending tool. This I'm getting the thicker parts picked up. And it's all nice and dry. And we're going in with our little blending brush brush whatever whatever you guys want to use a blending sponge and I just smeared it in there smeared it in there and it looks a little creamy because you know it's got a little tint to it but as soon as it dries mm, it's really amazing and then we're gonna pick up um, crocodile tealers green is gonna be next See, you can see it right there too. The the purple on the blue. It's just, <laughs> uh, it's fabulous. Look at that. Crocodile Tears is up next. So for the background, we used Beluga and dried it and then put Royal Flush on top of it. And we're going to let that dry while we do the uh, Crocodile Tears for all the leaves. Okay. And... It's texture paste, so you can pile it on and draw some lines in it, and it it's cool, right? <laughs> texture paste is so much fun, and this stuff, mm, you guys, if, if you're mixed media, you're going to need this. If you're a card maker, you're going to need it. Do you absolutely need it? No, you don't need anything, but you're going to want to want it. <laughs> Trust me, I'm I'm so blessed that I was um, gifted these for my honest review, and I, I honestly tell you, 
they are different than lunar paste. When you first lay down, um, like cross my heart and overheated to me, I was a little worried because they look very similar when they're in their wet format, but as soon as they dry, you can really tell the difference, especially if you add them like the cross my heart pink to pink or red paper. It really punches that pinkness and the same with overheated. You put it on orange paper and it just pulls the orange even more. So they're going to do different things on different uh, media, whether it's paper, canvas, colored paper, all that stuff. They're going to react and do things differently. Now this color is the overheated. And it is the one that looks like the cross my heart when they're in their wet. And these, I was kind of worried about it, you know, when I got to my painting. But once it dried, mm, you could totally tell them apart. You just got to trust the process and know that it's going to dry. And you're going to get the colors that you know it's going to make when it dries. But yeah, you get to use a palette knife and just... Plop, plop them on there. So that is the overheated in the orange. And then next, I think we go to the Cross My Heart roses. Yep. So here's Cross My Heart. And I'm just putting a glob on. You guys, these roses are so simple. You ready? Put a glob on and make swirlies. And then make sure you, when you finish your swirl, it's a tight little swirl in the middle. So you kind of go move it around, <laughs> move it around, squiggle, 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 and then just go in a circle. I was trying to <laughs> make it big enough to cover my space. And see that? Just like that, we have a cute little roses just by doing swirlies, swirlies on the paper. And I'm kind of rolling the brush to get thick, thick lines on there. Here is the golden hour. Um, if you guys just want to try one out and see how things go, just like slippery when wet, golden hour is going to be your go-to because you're going to have this golden goodness color that you can use for every single holiday, every single accent. Um, the golden hour is going to be your go-to. Go and so if you want one, just one to try, get the golden hour. You're not going to be sad. And um, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Okay, just look it. And so for these yellowy flowers, what I've done is I'm putting it on rather thick and not filling in the rose. So the black becomes part of the rose. I hope that makes sense, but isn't that just stunning? And so I've got a lot left over, <laughs> my bad. So I just add accents to like everything. I'm like, oh yes, we'll add that here and we'll add that there. So like I said, the golden hour is going to look great on everything. And I just add it to the tips of that leaf and into the center of that leaf. And then I'm going to use my finger, your uh, your your painterly tools that are attached at all times and I just wanted to go around the edges and when I went around the edges and curled it around the front that's when I was like hmm let's see how it looks layered over the blue and the purple when I get done here I add a little bit of water a little bit and then I just rubbed rubbed it right in and you guys it's fabulous we're gonna slow down the camera here in just a second and i will let you enjoy look at this oh my goodness i can't wait to show you the dried version of this it's phenomenal i can't wait for it <laughs> it just made it almost look black and white turning it that way that was so weird but uh yeah you guys Good product, Mr. Simon Hurley. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. I hope you join me today at 3 p.m. Eastern. If not, 
it'll always be there for a replay. Check the links down below. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.